Hello people and welcome to another Iris A10 Tech Pack Dev Blog Slash Preview. My name is Rob, I am the lead programmer on the Tech Pack update and I would like to give you a quick look at some of the features that are coming your way very soon. Obviously released the TAC pack and the SDK and we've decided to support it. And the A10 is the first of those products. It is going to be a fairly hefty update you're going to get a lot of new systems and a lot of new features. This panel is one of them. It actually lets you put the equipment onto your aircraft. As you can see, we're sitting here on the taxiway. The engines are running, but we're not going anywhere at the moment. I should note this is a beta build and some features are not in the app yet including being able to see the weapons from inside your cockpit. So we will turn to an exterior view and I will turn my track IR off for a moment here so we can spin around to the front and look at the aircraft. If I bring back up our stores management page here I can add and remove weapons by clicking so you can see different weapons. We're going to load some AIM-9s on hardpoint one, a LAW-86 on hardpoint two, three AGMs on hardpoint three, a snake, uh, we'll go for a 2000 pounder on four Snake Eyes on f 5 and 7 Aim 9's keeping an eye on our weight here of course Another Law and We'll put actually the Jamming targeting pod on the wing So we've got them all on, you'll notice, have noticed that as we put the weight in the airplane shifted a little this is because we actually do physically put the weight in the aircraft and you'll notice we have this option here, this is self lazing it's a workaround at the moment because the A10 obviously doesn't have a targeting pod on it at this time when it ships you will have the option for a targeting pod which will take three or nine away from you when you've got it on but it will allow you to actually lay its targets yourself and use the Mavericks without some extra help we have also allowed you to use the FLU while you have a Maverick on board if you don't want have a targeting pod but if you to fire your last Maverick off you will lose the ability. This allows you to simulate having something other than the laser guided Mavericks that, but it's a workaround and the moment VRS gives us AGMs that are actually TV guided that feature will be removed. We're going to turn it on at the moment. We've set our laser code to 1001 and our transponder on mode 4 to 1100 so if we go back to the interior of our cockpit and we turn our track IR back on you'll notice that the HUD's changed we've updated it, it now has a lot of the symbology modes in for the different modes weapon delivery 1 gives you a fixed gun sight which is capable of being shifted up and down and remains fixed. Weapons Delivery 2 gives you a gyro gun sight so the gun sight will move as the aircraft moves and can be ranged from 0.2 of a kilometre out to affinity
Pretty, though, why you take it that far, I don't know. It also gives you the dive bomb eyebrow markers and expanded mode is exactly the same without the eyebrows. Chaff and flare are in and working and are tied to the chaff and flare switches. You have manual single, manual multi, and program. The program will actually attempt to spit chaff out based on your RWR warnings. You can also, of course, tell it to drop chaff yourself. The flare have manual, manual single and program. Manual single will drop out one alternating side, while program will drop out a set number based on an internal program. The other part is that the power switch on the TV will activate the FLIR as shown here. FLIR is active. It has all its own symbology and you'll notice if I set it as center of in sensor of interest then tell it that we want to stabilize it can move it around, stabilize it fully, or move it all the way back. At the moment we're going to turn it off until we are in the air. We also have a hard target, which is this one allows you to use your HUD to pinpoint a target, lock it and it won't move and the delete key can be used to turn on and off your laser and we have a paved penny system which will pick up any laser that is currently being thrown around So with that done, we're going to quickly get in the air here and I'm going to give you a quick preview of some of the weapons in use and then show you the various weapons modes. We're going to stop sliding as much as I am here. Reset my track IR. Fix, fix my zoom a little. Gear up. Flaps retract. Okay, so we're airborne. You will notice here that. It's telling me I have a Mark 34 on board, but if I pickle, nothing's happening. Same will go if I bring up the temporary stores selection page and tell it I want Mavericks. We've got a Maverick on, but we've got no symbology. It's not firing or anything like that. It's because we need to turn the master arm on and our equipment power. We turn the equipment power on, we get all the symbology and we're getting the growl. If we spawn an AI drone in front of us here. That might actually help if I spawned it at the same altitude as us. But we get it in, you'll notice the seeker's tracking, showing us where it is. And we've got the site showing us that if we go beyond this right 
range we will lose the seeker head the seeker. just showing us the gimbal limits as I will demonstrate so we went past the gimbal we lost it we're a little far away but if we pickle the missile will launch it's not likely to actually hit at this range No, I was wrong, we actually did get a hit. So we will waste off the second one. So that's an example of the flur of the aim nine to uh, firing. You will notice fixed gun sight is not moving. And we've got Buck. We've got on the wings Lord Rocket Pods. The rocket pods are tied to the gyro stabilizer, so we when we have them armed the gyro will move for the rockets unless we're actually pulling the trigger. With the AGMs, they obviously require a laser. As I said before, you can self laser, and the flur will work while they're turned on. So if we turn the flur on, at the moment it's in boresight mode. What we're going to do here is shift so it's sensor of interest, so we get its sensor icon. We're going to ground stabilize it. You'll notice it's happily ground stabilized. The floor targeting pod's not moving. We can un ground stabilize that. But it appears we've actually got a bug occurring. Because a DMS down should be uns setting that back to zero, and it's not what we can do. However, is we will just get it actually locked onto something at the moment and work the bug out later. So it's locked we tell it to laze, it's lazing, and if we fire we'll see the AIM-9 go off and do its pop-up to prosecute the attack. So all, them, all of them are off, they're gone. Eventually they will either hit the target or miss depending on if the, of the range. We are firing them fairly long ranged here. But while we're here, we will switch to 
You'll notice we do not have any CCIP or the like showing up. We have that as a mode because we're running the latest upgrades. When we switch we'll get the symbology if we're below arming delay or frag dis mo distance it will warn us of such. The mark 82, uh, sorry 84 is there, rather big and tend to have a lo long arming delay. Two snake eyes off. Little short. No, okay, dead on target. The other one was the Mark 84s. So as you can see, the upgrade is looking fairly good. We're hoping to get this out before Christmas. And I hope when it does that you guys enjoy it. We will quickly show you the chaff flares from outside. Oh, and before I forget, the radar warning system. The, uh, the RWR is working, you have to turn the power and activate it on. The search, handoff and launch also work. Search will basically not play any of the search sound warnings. Handoff will not play anything at all until you're launched on and launch will prevent it from even playing that if I spawn a SAM site in front of us here 5 nautical miles and create we should Yep, as you can see we've got a ground paint, and if I t turn off that we get the sound warning us. As you can see, we've just lost it. Putting it in the um, Mountains probably wasn't the best idea, it's probably not got a really good line of sight at all. On the other hand, I can't find it either to prosecute an attack on it. So with that, we're just going to call it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this preview, and I look forward to getting this out and into people's hands as soon as it's ready.